Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Strafe. So if I did quick restart, what happens? It takes a little bit to load. That's a cool loading screen. I like it. And I start fresh from wherever I left myself. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder how... I could, if at all, get through here like non lethal. It's a known fact that you can play so certain Doom levels non lethally. Though I've got to say, this would be a lot easier if I didn't uh, have to worry about. If I could worry about friendly fire, in fact. Because I feel like them doing that would make my life easier. Thank you. Made it back to the start. So you can just clear a motherfucker's head by jumping. That's pretty sweet. So I don't know how long I'll be playing this for certainly bloody. I might read about it more and then decide if I'm going to play more or not. Lord knows that I usually like to finish games and I'd like to do full LPs. There have been a few games that I haven't finished. And some games were like, they're really hard to finish so I haven't done so. Or really timely, like uh, a Far Cry or a Dark Souls. Is that friendly fire? I think it was. Okay, so you can totally do it. Oh, I achieved the bar. That's pretty great. Okay, so two levels of the Icarus, and then two levels of the Black Canyon, and then who knows what's next, and then who knows what's next. But presumably they come in twos and twos. Say so again, I don't know if this is being randomized every time I start again, or if I just have really bad recognition for patterns and I can't tell if I'm in a new area or not. So, you know, that's me. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Excuse me, everyone. Dead end. One of the things is that, like, killing guys feels, like, a little time-consuming. I don't know. Maybe just me, but it could... Maybe it could feel a little, a little more, like, satisfying. Though, again, that might just be a, a function of the ragdolling and the animations. Cause like when I kill a guy and there's sprites, you know, I, I feel it, I know it. I know what's going on, you know? Looks like bunny hopping is a pretty expedient way to get my ass around. That's good. Headshot shield. Uh, pardon me, sir.
I love, I really do just like, I think my favorite thing about this is the movement speed. Not the movement itself, but the speed at which it takes place. Oh, so I give him the gun. That's what's happening here. And then he does his little animation to change it in some form. And my fists come up. Sorry, I thought I might have heard a knock on my door. I'm waiting for somebody to come by and fix my internet, so... I should be listening for it, but I'm playing Strife. Strife. I want to call it Strife. I don't know why. Maybe Strife is just a better name for a thing where you fight something, you know? It evokes the Strife of Kamlan, or that thing that you do at Homestuck. Oh god! Not sure how much more of this I'll play, but like I said, I'm I'm probably gonna read about it. Uh and then decide from there if I wanna play some more. Sounds like it was upstairs that was getting their door knocked on. I already ate all that, right? Yeah. Jesus, guys. Is everything okay up there, or is somebody dying? Oh, man. See, the thing about going so fast is that you want to go fast, you know? Such is the nature of it. Um... Hey, I got a thing, though. Money. Yeah, such is the nature of going fast. You want to use your really high speed. And not being able to do that kind of feels like it sucks. So, what was that thing? I don't think I've used this before. That's a laser cannon. Pardon me. <laughs> that was an absolutely ridiculous quantity of blood. I don't even think Bloodborne has this much blood. Like, this is giant Mortal Kombat spouts of Effusual Grime, you know? It is better to, like, take your time and kill stuff. Like, I just want to go, you know? later this uh, year, I guess. Oh, hi. What is this? It's one of those huge fuck off grenade launchers. This appears to be an automatic shotgun. Good, I'm glad. Lord knows I appreciate a good shotgun. I still don't know what those mean. Oh god. 
to the hallmark. Bad ladder. Are you just like a money goblin? That's cool. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I beat the level with the uh, armor intact. That's pretty swag. Must say. A gun duchess credit. Oh, and I've gotten two part-times. Or, I've gotten one this life, and I need, you know, two more this life. Can they reload this gun for me, please? Damn it. All I want to do is use my, my big legs and run and sprint, you know? I'm not a soldier. I'm a cheetah with a gun on it. different. It now shoots like little discs. Right, starting. Right, these are definitely different every time, right? I may be stupid. There isn't a second part to that. In case you were waiting with abated breath. Save my money. Can we talk about what the fuck is happening in my ears, by the way? This is some tasty jams. I do say so myself. Back to the entrance. I gotta say, one thing about first person shooters is that, like, the map for first person shooters becomes so iconic. Like, it becomes this fun, cool, recognizable thing in the game itself. Which I guess is just a thing for, like, video games in general. Like, you know, everyone's seen Mario 1 1. And you'll see it again. Nintendo will make sure of it. Ooh, that's a lot of goop. Anyone else? Cool, I'm glad to hear it. Huh? Alright, am I down to 0 7 or am I down to 87? clips remaining because one of those will give me a little pause and some worry the other one will not Can it? oh do I I was excited for a moment there damn you uh explosion I'm fine to just start again from there so yeah, I'm at least going to do two. Thank you. I'm at least going to do two episodes here. Holy shit, I do be going now. Uh, I will say another thing with it. The fact that I've turned up my FOV so high makes you see more of the screen, makes it feel like more of the screen is going by makes you feel like you're going faster. It's a well-documented thing, you know? It's a very easy fix. If you want to make somebody go go faster, you just turn up their walk speed. But if you want to make somebody feel like they're going faster... Ah, that's what the alt fire does. You want to make somebody feel like they're going faster, 
uh, turn off the FOV. Similarly, you can have somebody who actually moves at a decent clip, but it feels like they're going slow and they're like claustrophobic because of the very, very tight uh, FOV. This is something that Resident Evil 8 does. And I will say, I think it's uh, pretty well for when the game is horror, but it's a Resident Evil game and it inevitably will turn into an action game, such as the nature of Resident Evil. <laughs> nice. These things remind me of the uh, enemies from uh, Star Fox Adventure. Here, play it. It's not good. Oh, and for anyone keeping track, this is definitely the kind of game I might like to make. Maybe a little more stylized than this, though. I don't think the art style is bad. But I will say, there's a lot of brown. You know, with Doom, you get a little more going on, you know? Like, Wolfenstein is mostly blue. Doom has a lot of greens in it. And, you know, that means that those games' color palettes are kind of dominated by that color. But they're dominated by a bright color, which makes them feel a little more exciting to play in the modern day. Whereas Quake is just hyper brown the whole time. And, like, that's the thing that got continued over to, like, modern games. Wow, that feels great. I wish it kind of inured you to falling damage at the end there, but... Can't have everything, I guess. Looks like it doesn't fill up your armor. Damn. Ah, oh, have I gone back to the entryway? I sure have. Let it be known, I am... Like, it is, it is downright legendary how inept and blind I can be when it comes to playing shooters like this. Games in general, but like... And yeah, I don't know what happened there. Still see how purple my hand is. God damn. All right, I'm gonna try to kill a little more here. I realize I am not playing the right game for pathetism. But I am playing the right game for speed. And sometimes, you know, in the words of the great poet, Bullets are too slow, and I need to kill fast. Sorry, I'm just focusing on Huncore and getting my Doom Fingers going. Those who don't know what I mean when I say Doom Fingers, by the way, um, this is a specific thing I do with my hand when I play Doom and a couple other sh uh, shooters like it. Where I almost like claw grip my own keyboard. 
I like regular claw, not eagle claw. Uh, and like, so I twist my hand so every finger is over uh, W, A, S, or D. Uh, which means that I can always be able to I'll always be able to tap a, a movement key. Sometimes I leave the pinky off um, because I can just move my middle finger onto back anyway. And like I realize that a lot of people do that anyway. But like with Doom specifically and games like it. I have to be so, like, I just have to be so much quicker on my movement, you know? Like, it is not something I do with Halo. It's not something that I really have to do with Half-Life. It is, like, pretty much just a boomer shooter thing. Uh, pardon me, everyone. Am I in your goddamn way? It's better not be the entryway. It's the entryway. Man, too bad I didn't, like, say this was going to be like a Friday Night Roguelike. Because it has turned out to be. Eh, I can put it in the playlist. This is my show. Again, I need to kill fast. Well, it's too slow. Okay. This way... is this thing. Which leads nowhere. Do I need to upgrade my gun? Because, like, I honestly feel like I like this just fine. Do I open this? The button here. Nada. Uh, I think this leads back to the entryway again, right? Yep, sure does. Man, I kind of wish that Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon played a little more classic. Like, there are some cool things done in Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. And you know what? It could be argued that that game feels like a Devolver Digital game, whether or not it knows it. Whether or not Devolver Digital knows it. Whether or not anyone knows it. Oh, hello. And, like, I feel like... Oh, God, please go away. Why is door not open? Thank you. Could have opened a couple of seconds ago. That would have been really nice. Whoops. Did I get in trouble, guys? I might have accidentally just gotten in trouble. The fact that it makes dial-up sounds while you're getting, like, opening a door. Like, we were already running out of things that made dial-up sounds in the 1990s. I really love this huge slope that it starts on.
Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, do you bring the teleporter part through to here? Because, damn. That might be kind of a haul. Same song and dance, self same. You were the bitch that killed me last time. Oh, please, come on. I can't believe that he does five damage to my six health body. Man, I haven't gotten past that. So if I hit extra... Do the challenge of speedrun survival arena? Jeez. Oh, I love how it miss it lists that it's using this many gigabytes. Is that a gigabyte? Kilobyte? Megabyte? That's a gig. Byte, kilo, mega, gig. Yeah. Uh, game's great, but I don't know if I'm like vibing with it for a full LP. Maybe I'll just call this, like, Friday Night Roguelikes, and I'll put a little strike through on the Friday. That might be kind of funny. Uh, but until I... If, if, a, if a third um, episode of this comes out, I'll probably be trying to beat it. Uh, if not, this will be the last one. Uh, but until then, uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Strafe. It's very, very good. And I recommend it. Um, if nothing else, just support Devolver Digital because they're really cool. Uh, everyone have a nice day. I'll see you next time. I've been Alfred. Bye.